This weekend is the 25th anniversary of a tragedy that shocked the world and it impacted our region. The explosion and crash of TWA Flight 800 in July of 1996 near New York City. 230 people were killed, including 16 students and five chaperones from Montoursville High School. And tonight, Eyewitness News speaks with the mother of one of those students who died in the crash. Our I team's Andy Mahalshek joins us live from Montoursville tonight with her story. Andy? Good evening, Nick and Cass. Well, everybody we spoke with today agrees that Montoursville is indeed a very close knit community, and they do agree the crash of TWA Flight 800 changed this community forever. Now, the mother of one of the students killed in the crash, well, she believes her daughter had a premonition about the crash. I would just say take it one day at a time because you never know when it's the last day. I mean, I really learned to just live in the moment. And that is the lesson that Michelle Jazz says she learned from the explosion and crash of TWA Flight 800. Her 15-year-old daughter, Larissa Zippus, perished in the crash. She, along with 15 classmates and five adult chaperones, many who were members of the school's French club, were headed to Paris when the unthinkable became reality. I first heard about it. I was shopping for a uh, class reunion and came home, turned on the TV, saw that there was an explosion in New York. She learned her daughter, Larissa, was gone. She believes Larissa had a premonition about the crash. About two months before, or maybe six weeks before the flight, we were just talking somehow we got on a discussion about death. And she told me that she didn't want to live to be 40. She thought that was pretty old. And she said that when she dies, she wants it to be in the news and in a big way. So she got her wish. She must have known. Among her daughter's belongings that were recovered from the crash site, the key to her suitcase. She wears a gold replica of that key around her neck every day. She often wonders about the life her daughter never lived. The thing that goes through my mind most is what she would have done, because I know she would have done something really successful and how it changed our whole family. It changed my other children. Um, but we keep her alive. We talk about her all the time. Not just all good things, but, you know, the, the cranky things she did too. But, yeah, just what she would have been doing and what she would have looked like if she would have had kids. And she's confident her daughter would have been successful at anything she tried. Larissa would have been something big. She talked about being president. I hope she would never have done that. But um, she, would have, she would have made a remark on the world. And she's made a remark on a lot of people anyhow. So. Now, Michelle Jazz says that Larissa would have celebrated her 16th birthday several days into the trip in Paris, actually July 22nd to be exact. She says she and her other daughter took a trip to Paris a short time later in honor of Larissa. Reporting live in downtown Montoursville, Lycoming County, Andy Mahal, she's 2822 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Andy. But Eyewitness News will have more coverage of the 25th anniversary of the crash tomorrow and, of course, on Saturday.